Today on Healthy Home, Healthy Mind, we'll be showing you 13 options for cozifying your home to enhance your mental well-being. Joining us today is our resident expert who needs no introduction. And the damn power is down. Oh, I should have bought that generator. Ouch, it hurts. What the hell? That sounds like... on the enemy, so there's no looking back. I got him in my sights. Targeting systems locked on! I did my best to distract you through those treatments. You still cried every time. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder how it would have been if your mother hadn't relapsed before you were born. 
might have had a normal life. All the time when I'd fluff your pillows, you'd tell me they were your dream clouds. Whenever you had a bad dream, you'd call me in to fluff the clouds and shake out all the nightmares. Yeah, always had your nose in a book and leave them around wherever you happen to be. I can't tell you how many times I nearly killed myself tripping over those fantasy novels you loved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this was your favorite. Uh, just take it down by the fire. Have a look through it over a cup of tea. went out sometimes, but you weren't scared like the other kids would be. You marched forward, helping me light the candles, insisting we were exploring a dungeon, and there was a treasure right around the corner. Dragons and battles were a welcome distraction from the doctors and needles. Sometimes I even forgot about it all. But I know you never did, Papa. We slew so many monsters in that little room. And that silly book you had me read over and over. Until the pages fell out. Fix up the fire, make a cup of tea, sit down and have a little read. Here, just like you. You step out of that door, and that's it. I can't help you anymore. And what if you get sick, like before?
why I, why I bother with you. You never hear anything I say. Don't. Folks, your mother, and now you. I just wanted to keep you safe like a parent should. Like I did when you were little. But I guess you outgrew this house and me. Matches, kindling. Yeah, this is dry enough. That'll burn. It drove me crazy when you leave the door open. Heating the whole neighborhood. Maybe that's why when you slammed it the last time, it felt so final. You were really gone. Oh, the leg's gone. Oh well, prop it up with firewood till I can get around to fixing it. Mm. The day we brought you home, you were so small, they didn't think you were going to make it. But even then, you were a fighter. I think I knew you didn't need me. It was me that needed you. I couldn't hear you then. But I'm ready to now. <laughs> I could have decked you, comparing me to mom like that. But I knew you were hurting and scared. I stayed as long as I could. But I had to live my life. I never stop missing you, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of awful. The truth is, you were always stronger than me, and I was terrified you'd leave me in the dust. You were pretty bad at times, but it was you who taught me how to be strong. You just didn't know when to let go. your hot cocoa and me with my tea and we'd call out the animals and faces we'd see in the fire all the animals had to be narwhals or you'd pitch a fit what the hell even is a narwhal
Glad you called. Uh, should I put on some tea? I, I don't know. It's almost nap time. We're just stopping by. We gotta stick to the routine, you know? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, of course. I understand. Fitting image of your mama. I think she gets her eyes from her grandpa. Hey, remember that old book you used to read me? Hey, remember that old book you used to read me? I bet she'd love it too. We could put her down for her nap here after the story. You still have my old bed, right? Or do. Uh, just let me grab some fresh sheets. I'm fine. Dad? Dad? Uh, he'll be better off without me. Just a stubborn, controlling old man. I always was meant to be alone, no matter how hard I tried to fight it. Sorry I let you down again, Pumpkin. Oh yeah, the kettle. You'd still see the spot where it got a dent when I dropped it. And you hammered it out again. And you'd never let me live that down. Oh yeah, cats. Thirteen of them. I don't know where they all came from, but... Every time I'd feed one, another one would show up. Captain, targeting system locked on. Here are all the good parts of me, you know, and none of the bad. That little girl is so lucky to have a dragon slayer for a mom. Think you could take her on adventures like we used to have? I told her all about them. I think with some training she could be a good addition to the party. I don't know if you can hear us, but we're here, Pop. Back to us. I love you. Oh. 